Hey everyone, Rove Gaming here, bringing you a Stargate Evolution mod tutorial for crafting and resources. Uh, so again, Stargate Evolution is made by the Exodus Games team, uh, led by Drake BD. We're gonna jump pretty much right into this. I just wanted to say to make sure you check them out. Because that's that's what we're here for. We're, we're here for Stargate Evolution. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, so it's very simple so far. Uh, we just have three crafting stations. Uh, the Lantine Crafting Table, the Lantine Fabricator, and the Stargate Crafting Station. The Lantine Fabricator and the Stargate Crafting Station both require to be powered. You can do this either by our power sources, the uh, Nakwita Reactor Mark 1, Mark 2, or the ZPM Hub. Or you can do this by tech generators or regular generators of any kind. So this is just simple uh, vanilla power generator. It powers both. But for the sake of sound, we're going to run outside real quick and flip on our Lantine ZPM HUD. Up, just so we don't have to worry about the sound from the generator. Okay, so first big thing everybody needs to know is that to get the Naquita ore, you have to go harvest obsidian nodes, obsidian deposits. To get the gold ore, you have to go harvest the metal nodes, metal deposits. Um, there's no Naquita ore in here right now. But Naquita ingots and gold ingots are auto crafted. You can then choose to craft how many or whatever of liquid Naquita and zero point energy. And then under composites, we have advanced electronics. Uh, this is basically our version of electronics. These are supposed to be high advanced special ones for things like rings and stargates in this mod. Uh, to make one, you need electronics, gold ingots, and silica pearls. Uh, a few things we've recently added that I will cover in here just because it's decently important, especially for resources. So the first thing is the MRE. Uh, super lightweight, uh, non-spoiling, human-only, big food. Uh, big food. Uh, it feeds 250. Under medicines, we have painkillers, uh, basic 70 uh, instant heal, med kits are the next step up, and then Tertonin is the next step up. This is extremely powerful and it has a debuff at the end of a 500 or 600 or so second timer. Uh, the, debuff, the debuff makes you take more damage. It's it's supposed to tie into balancing the Tritonin. Uh, lastly, for consumables, we have the Ancient Gene. Uh, this will be used in the future to allow the use of ancient technology, but the main feature it has is it greatly reduces the weight of the resources in Stargate Evolution. So, for example, a full stack of the ore or ingots for uh, the gold or Naquita it weighs a thousand. If you have this ancient gene on yourself or your creatures, it will drop it down 90% down to 100. So a thousand to a hundred. Much, much of a huge difference. Um, then we go back, then we go to the Stargate Crafting Station. It has the artifacts, which is where the ZPM is. It has the rings, the star, anything related to Stargates. DHD's iris gates itself. Uh, we have the PDA in here, which the PDA I will cover in the next tutorial dealing with stargates. Uh, the Lantine crafting table, there's not much of a difference in here from the showcase so far, but there was some decor added that I wanted to quickly talk about. The mini models under stargates. Uh, well, we go decor, mini models, then stargates. We have the Universe Gate, Pegasus Gate, Milky Way Gate, and Tolanda Gate. Uh, these 
brought in the textures and models for the gates. This is basically a little spoiler teaser of, hey, this is this is something we're working on. Something we're going to be getting in pretty soon. Next three months or so. Uh, this is going to be much, much further out, but it's the drone missile. Uh, it's another little teaser. Everything else for the item stands and mini models is things that are already in the mod. So again, the very, very important thing to note is without the Lantine Fabricator, you cannot progress in you cannot progress in Stargate Evolution. You have to have the Lantine Fabricator to refine any of our resources. So again, that is the big thing you got to know about. Uh, please like, follow, and subscribe me, uh, Rove Gaming, and Exodus Games on my social medias, uh, my YouTube channel, Facebook, all of that. And be sure to do the same for Exodus Games as they're the ones that are making this mod. I'm just part of the team as the community manager. Um, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Uh, or you're free to, of course, join the Discord server that uh, the mod is hosted in. I will be adding more information in the description below, like the d Google documents that are being worked on, the Discord link for Exodus Games, and if there's any ideas or suggestions for anything, please feel free to direct them towards the comments for the video, or Discord servers, or add in the PayPal and Patreon links, and well, as well as the Steam uh, workshop link for this mod itself so again thank you all kindred spirits and everybody for watching the video uh, I will be doing more videos for the tutorial series for Stargate Evolution in the near future uh, if anybody has ideas on what I could do for these videos let me know uh, the next few ones that I have planned are ones that deal with the Stargates and the, the, the uh, DHDs and how they function. I will also be doing one on the rings system and how that on how those operate as well. Again, this is Rove Gaming. Uh, I hope to see you at the next video. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.